Hello, and thank you for standing by for Bit Auto's second quarter 2020 earnings conference call. At this time, all participants will listen only mode, and after the management's prepared remarks, there will be a question and answer session. Today's conference is being recorded. If you have any objection, you may disconnect at this time. I would now like to turn the meeting over to your host for today's conference. Thank you. Welcome to Bit Auto's second quarter 2020 earnings conference call. Speakers from the company today are Mr. Andy Zhang, CEO, and Mr. Ming Xu, CFO. Before we proceed, please note that discussions today will contain certain forward-looking statements made under the safe harbor provisions of the U.S. Private Securities and Litigation Reform Act of 1995. Forward-looking statements are subject to risks and uncertainties, which may cause actual results to differ materially from our current expectations. Potential risks and uncertainties include, but are not limited to, those outlined in our public filings with the SEC, including registration statement on Form F1. Bit Auto does not undertake any obligations to update any forward-looking statement except as required under applicable law. This call will include discussions of certain unaudited non-GAAP financial measures. Please refer to our earnings release, which was issued earlier today, for reconciliations of these unaudited non-GAAP measures to the most directly comparable unaudited GAAP measures. As a reminder, this conference is being recorded. In addition, a live and archived webcast of the conference will be available on our website. I will now turn the call over to Andy Zhang, CEO of the Dollar. Hello, everyone, and thank you for joining us for our second quarter 2020 earnings call. In the second quarter, China's domestic automobile industry remained challenging with sluggish retail passenger vehicle sales and the rising levels of dealer inventory especially considering a resurgence of the COVID-19 outbreak in some major cities in June, while, uh, in June. While these factors adversely impacted our business, we are confident that the gradual macroeconomic recovery across many co- industries will present strong opportunities for Bit Auto in the months ahead. Looking at our advertising and the subscription businesses, weak vehicle sales and the increasingly fierce competition in China's online automobile advertising sector put pressure on our advertising business during the second quarter. However, our subscription business achieved mild revenue growth thanks to the slight increase in Bit Auto's paying subscriber base. Turning to our transaction services business, during the quarter, Yixing recorded about 69,000 total transactions in the second quarter, representing a year-over-year decrease of approximately 49.9%. The decrease was primarily driven by Yixing's more conservative risk control approach. Looking ahead, in response to the uncertainties in China's overall environment, and particularly the automobile sector, we will stay focused on our core strategies and strategic initiatives. First, we will continue to upgrade and improve our content product offerings, which we believe will provide better value to automobile consumers, car owners, automakers, and dealer customers. Second, we'll continue focusing on our ongoing strategic brand building campaigns, to further raise the auto's brand recognition in order to expand our base, uh, user base and enhance user engagement. Third, Yixin will continue to optimize its conservative risk assessment methodology and strengthen its dealer and financial institution partnerships to explore opportunities as China's automobile trend market recovers. We believe our efforts will help strengthen the auto's position as the leading provider of internet content and the marketing services and the transaction services for China's auto industry. With that, I'll turn the call over to Ming to go over the financials. Thank you, Andy. Good evening, everyone. Despite the gradual recovery of China's economy in the second quarter of 2020, the automobile sector continued to underperform on a relative basis, impacting our top-line results. Additionally, we'll continue to see margin pressure during the quarter due to our ongoing investments in youth acquisition as well as our strategic branding and marketing initiatives. For the long run, we believe these investments will form a solid foundation to attract more users to Bit Auto and enhance our value proposition to our automaker and dealer business partners. Now let's look at our Q2 2020 financial highlights. Please note that our reference financial figures in RMB. Bit Auto reported revenue of RMB 1.96 billion in the second quarter of 2020, compared to RMB 2.79 billion in the corresponding period in 2019. 
Revenue from the advertising and subscription business in the second quarter of 2020 was RMB 1.03 billion, representing a 2.2% increase from RMB 1.01 billion in the corresponding period in 2019. Revenue from the transaction services business in the second quarter of 2020 was RMB 730 8 million compared to RMB 1.49 billion in the corresponding period in 2019, mainly due to a weak passenger vehicle sales following the COVID-19 outbreak and more cautious underwriting standard imposed by Yixing. Revenue from the digital marketing solution business in the second quarter of 2020 was RMB 190.3 million compared to RMB 294.7 million in the corresponding period in 2019. Cost of revenue in the second quarter of 2020 was RMB 654 million, compared to RMB 1.12 billion in the corresponding period in 2019. Cost of revenue as a percentage of, of revenue in the second quarter of 2020 was 33.4 percent, compared to 40 percent in the corresponding period in 2019. Gross profit. In the second quarter of 2020, it was RMB 1.3 billion compared to RMB 1.67 billion in the corresponding period in 2019. Selling and administrative expenses in the second quarter of 2020 were RMB 1.8 billion, representing a 10.1% increase from the corresponding period in 2019. The increase was primarily due to the increase in provision for credit losses of the receivable related to Yixing, and the increase in marketing expenses associated with the company's branding and marketing efforts, partly offset by the dec decrease in amortization of intangible assets related to the strategic cooperation with JD.com and a decrease in expenses related with personnel. Product development expenses in the second quarter of 2020 were RMB 147 million, representing a 3.7% increase from the corresponding period in 2019. Share-based compensation, which was allocated to relative, related operating expense line items, was RMB 55 million in the second quarter of 2020, compared to RMB 100 million in the corresponding period in 2019. Non-GAAP loss from operations in the second quarter of 2020 was RMB 594 million compared to non-GAAP income from operations of RMB 215 million in the corresponding period in 2019. Net loss in the second quarter of 2020 was RMB 536 million compared to net loss of RMB 136 million in the corresponding period in 2019. Net loss attributable to Bidado in the second quarter of 2020 was RMB 369 million compared to net loss attributable to bid auto of RMB 146 million in the corresponding period in 2019. Non-GAAP net loss in the second quarter of 2020 was RMB 447 million, compared to non-GAAP net income of RMB 216 million in the second quarter of 2019. Non-GAAP net loss attributable to bid auto in the second quarter of 2020 was RMB 334 million compared to RMB net income attributable to bid auto of RMB 155 million in the corresponding period in 2019. Basic and diluted net loss per ADS, each representing one ordinary share in the second quarter of 2020, amounted to RMB 5.15 and RMB 5.15 respectively. <coughs> Net, net non-GAAP basic and diluted net loss per ADS in the second quarter of 2020 amounted to RMB 4.65 and RMB 4.65, uh, respectively. As of June 30th, 2020, the company had cash and cash equivalent and restricted cash of RMB 8.6 billion. Cash used in operating activities, cash provided by investing activities, and cash used in financing activities in the second quarter of 2020 were RMB 831 million, RMB 3.3 billion, and RMB 2.2 billion, respectively. In addition, 
Given Yixing's scale and significance to BitAuto, I would also like to share with you some of Yixing's operating and financial highlights for Q2 2020. BitAuto's controlled subsidiary Yixing, a, primi- a primary operator of the company's transaction service business, facilitated approximately 69,000 finance transactions for the three months ended June 30th, 2020, representing a year-over-year decrease of, of approximately 49.9%. The decrease was primarily driven by Yixing's more conservative risk control methodology. The total aggregate financial amounts facilitated through Yixing's loan facilitation services and self-operated financing business was approximately, approximately RMB $5.38 billion. Amid the challenging macroeconomic environment, Yixing continued to adopt conservative risk control methodology and to focus on its loan facilitation services. For the three months ended June 30th, 2020, Yixing facilitated approximately 53,000 53, finance transactions, representing a year-over-year decrease of 21% at an, and approximately uh, 77% of Yixing's total finance transactions. In the, tot- in the second quarter of 2020, on the U.S. gap, Yixing's total revenue were RMB 745 million, representing a year-over-year decrease of 50%. New core, new core services revenue, which includes uh, revenues from loan facilitation ser- transactions and a new self-operated financing lease transactions facilitated by Yixing during the period, were RMB 258 million, representing a year-over-year decrease of uh, 57%. As of June 30th, 2020, 90 days plus past-due ratio and 180 days pr- uh, plus past-due ratio for all financed transactions were 2.46% and 1.4% respectively. On the U.S. gap, Yixing's provision for credit losses of financial receivables in the second quarter of 2020 was RMB 321.4 million. With that, I'd like to um, uh, start the Q&A session. Operator, please go ahead. Question and, yeah, so the question and answer session of the <coughs> conference call will start in a moment. In order to be fair to all callers who wish to ask questions, we'll take one question at a time from each caller. If you have more than one question, please request to join the question queue again after your first question has been addressed. And if, if you have questions, please press star 1 on your telephone keypad. Once again, for your questions, please press star the number one on your telephones. We're now approaching the end of the conference call. I will now turn the call over to the Autos CFO Ming Su for closing remarks. Uh, once again, thank you for joining us today. If you have any quest- further questions, please contact our IR team. Thank you, and good night. Thank you for your participation in today's conference. This concludes the presentation. You may now disconnect. Good day.